All right, Walter, thank you. Let's take a look at Snoqualmie Pass road conditions. This is earlier today. You can see it was pretty clear and clean, but what a difference a few hours will make. Let's take in with uh, Jennifer Lee. She's live there with a look at all the new snow and slush on the pass there. It's looking a lot different from earlier today, right, Jen? Yeah, for sure. I was talking with a state road official and he says there is rapidly changing condi conditions out here in Snoqualmie Pass. So people need to be prepared, slow down and pay attention. And if you have chains in your vehicle, just a reminder, they are safe and well lit areas on I-90 where drivers can pull off to put these chains on. Now that shift supervisor, the state road official with WashDOT, we went on a ride along with him tonight. And he showed us what they're keeping an eye on when they're on I-90. Tonight he has a crew of 12 plow truck drivers that are out on the road. And what they're trying to do is prevent the snow from turning into ice. Now he also has a message for drivers who are out on the road on this busy holiday weekend. He says to give their drivers room and space when they're out on the pass. Obviously drivers need to pay attention, slow down give our crews room to work. We might inconvenience you a little bit as we're going through and taking care of the road, but we're gonna get you to your destination safely and get home to be with your families. Many of the plow drivers have 30 seasons of experience under their belt. They're prepared to get in their plow trucks and take care of the roads. And as you just heard, the shift supervisor is asking drivers to pay close attention to travel advisories that are on Interstate 90. They're working with Washington State Patrol to enforce a reduced speed limit that's at 45 miles an hour. And just to give you guys another reminder, there were a couple small minor incidents on Interstate 90 tonight when we were doing that ride along with the shift supervisor. We did see a pickup truck that looked like it had spun out and he said it was likely due to speeding. So just another reminder, no matter how much or a little snow is out on Interstate 90, it's just a good idea to slow down and travel safely. Reporting live in Snoqualmie Pass, Jennifer Lee, Q13 News. All right.